Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead. Today I have an Aldi grocery haul for you. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I had a viewer um, specifically ask me if I would be willing to do ones because she would like to see what food we have to buy that is not provided from the food bank. And if you've been on my channel for a while, you know we go to the food bank about four times a month. Um, and a lot of people would assume that we get all of our groceries from there. I can assure you we don't because we're a large family. It's just not possible for the food banks to supply us with everything that we need. And then I have some dietary restrictions. I have to eat low carb. Um, and so it's one of those where there's a lot of the stuff that you get from the food bank is high carb food, um, chips and breads and, and cakes and cookies and whatnot. Um, so a lot of my needs aren't met from there, but, um, we are hugely best blessed from the food bank. Please don't get me wrong, but we are a family of seven. We have five children, 12 and under, and we homeschool. So, um, the kids and I eat literally all of our meals at home. We almost never go out to eat. I can count on probably one hand the number of times that we've been out, went out to eat in the last two years. Um, anything more than like a $1 cheeseburger kind of thing. Um, so yeah. Um, so family of seven, homeschool, all of our meals are eaten at home. My husband is a truck driver. So the majority of his meals are also packed and eaten in his truck. Um, we are in a season of needing to use the food pantry and it's today, I'll tell you the total at the end of this, but I'll tell you, we are spending as much on groceries now as we were before we started going to the food bank like eight months ago because of inflation hitting so hard. So if you are someone that is questioning whether to go to the food bank, but you're also looking at your grocery budget going, I can't pinch any further, please consider it because it's the only reason that we're making ends meet. Well, a big part of the reason we obviously are very, very frugal and are making choices everywhere that we can to save money, but Aldi's is one of those. So yeah, let me show you what we picked up today. So I'm going to start with this cold stuff and produce, and that's so I can go ahead and get pro or cold stuff put away, and then there will be a second round. So we have a thing of vanilla almond milk, unsweetened, and a thing of original. I use this for any cooking that I need, like making gravy, um, mashed potatoes, anything like that. And then the vanilla is more for drinking, adding to coffee. Um, I love iced coffee during the summer. There are three things of heavy whipping cream. That's for in coffee as well. And then I also use it to make a chocolate mousse that's keto-friendly dessert for me every once in a while. Uh, there's a thing of dairy whipped topping. Every Saturday I make sourdough pancakes for my family, and so we put that on top. There are two things of kielbasa, um, two things of string cheese, two of the egg life wraps, um, and I use those as kind of as tortilla for like tacos, um, egg burritos, that kind of thing. Two bags of steamed Brussels sprout or steamable Brussels sprouts. Two or a bag of the pork sausages for breakfast. My husband eats those a lot when he's at home. Bag of rice cauliflower. Two things of pork sausage. There is two each of the honey, the cranberry, and the blueberry goat cheese. These are, are quite pricey. Um, and it, so it's a special treat for us. I only pull them out on Sundays. Um, we do snacky dinner for Sundays. And so those will, um, these will last us at least three weeks, give or take. We're usually like three-fourths of one of each of them on Sunday. So um, there are two things of keto ice cream, which is kind of a rare treat for mom. There are two things of cottage cheese, three things of the um, Greek yogurt, which I have priced this out, and it's actually just as inexpensive to buy the Greek yogurt at our store as it is to buy the regular. So if I can buy the Greek, I'll buy it. They, it's nice and thick. There's one thing of French onion dip and two things of sour cream. And then a thing of this protein yogurt, which is something that my husband takes in the truck for breakfasts. We have a bag of blueberry or berry medley and then two bags of blueberries. So I get, I don't, we don't eat a whole lot of fruit. Um, but it's something that when we get done with any fresh fruit that we have, we'll switch to the, the bagged frozen fruit when they 
blow through all of that, then we'll get into the canned fruit. So that's kind of the order that I do it so that we're eating the fresh stuff and nothing's going to waste. There are three things of lunch meat for lunches. This is, it's always hilarious, this mountain of cheese. I don't, I shred all of our cheese. So, um, we have seven of the Colby Jack and I use those in like sandwiches, um, snacky lunches, that kind of thing. There are seven of the mild cheddar, which I shred up and use in casseroles and pizza, mozzarella again, casseroles and pizza. And then there's one extra sharp cheddar for, um, my husband will snack on it. And then two of the pepper jack, and those will be for, like, lunches. So that's all the cold stuff. Now we've got fruits and veggies. There are three things of these cherry tomatoes. I am so ready for my garden to have fresh cherry tomatoes. There's a bag of mandarin oranges, three bunches of bananas, two bags of the small avocados. And I just leave these out and let them all come to ripe at the same time and then throw them in the refrigerator, and they keep for a month. Um, and then I, we use them for tacos. Um, I eat them with breakfast a lot of times, that kind of thing. There is a three pack of zucchini. Those I'll more than likely make into zoodles, ready for zucchini out of my garden too. We have one pack of asparagus because we have asparagus coming up now. Yay. Um, which my asparagus bed is small, but hey. I'll take what I can get. One bag of radishes for snacky lunches. There are three of the big broccoli crown um, fresh. There are three bags of the mini peppers for lunches. There's a pizza in the back. Um, we have two things of romaine heart lettuce. There's a, there's a bag of the mini cucumbers. Three things of baby carrots. A head of cabbage. Cauliflower a bag of full-size carrots, and then one container of strawberries. And once again, we have a small strawberry plot, and I'm so ready for those to come up, too. And I just bought a, um, a ra another raspberry plant. We have, let's see here, that'll make five raspberry plants. And yeah, yum. So that's round one of cold stuff and fruits and veggies. I'll be back with round two of shelf-stable stuff. All right, round two, there's not quite as much. Um, this is all the shelf-stable stuff. Um, so we get a lot of this from the food pantry, so we don't generally have to buy a whole lot of this kind of thing. Um, I found these, this is a, a bigger pack than they normally have, and my kids really like these for snacks. Um, the same with these, just a nice little treat to throw in the snack box. There is a big container of mixed nuts. This is a go-to snack for me. Um, these are a dessert option for me. Um, they're the kind of like the oh what's the brand now I can't the Atkins bars um I really like those two flavors this one is really good dipped in peanut butter it tastes like a Snickers and this one tastes like an almond joy <laughs> um there are two packs of these little turkey snack sausage sticks um and then two things of hard salami we use those for snacky lunch snacky dinner that kind of thing these are my guilty pleasure. They are not super low carb, but they're not bad either. But um, I really enjoy those. I'll eat a couple of pieces. This is um, mom sanity. <laughs> I like them. They're individual little bars, and I usually eat just half of a bar at a time. So they had a good deal on chocolate chips today, and we use these for usually things like yogurt bowls, oatmeal, um, in pancakes. So I went ahead and picked up one of every kind and then an extra of the semi-sweet. Uh, these squeezy pouches are um, something I use with my youngest a lot that I just try to have one of those in my purse at all times um, as something that she can eat real quick. Um, just today she drank one um, on the way to the grocery store because she piped up and said she was hungry. There is a bag of sugar. This is almost exclusively used for making something called water kefir, which is a probiotic sparkling water drink. And then two bags of flour, and that's almost exclusively used to feed our sourdough um, starter that I use for making sourdough pancakes. So we were just out of both of those. Um, honey is what we usually end up putting on pancakes. In the past, I have done, um, maple syrup, but maple syrup has just gotten so expensive. So I've been buying honey and we still use it sparingly, but honey keeps forever in the cabinet. So, um, I went ahead and stocked up on that. Uh, two things of Parmesan cheese. 
because the one in the refrigerator was gone and I have to replace the one I didn't realize there was none in the cabinet. So I always try to keep a backup. We live like a half an hour away from the grocery store. So it's not just a, oh, well, I'll pop into the grocery store for a couple of things. Um, a giant jar of peanut butter because that's always eaten around here. Two things of salt. Um, this is something that I've been trying to stockpile a little bit of um, as a possible method of food preservation. Given where the world is going these days, I want to make sure that I have ways of preserving my food if I absolutely needed to. So let's just leave it at that. That, um, yeah, I've got a little stockpile of salt going and it's cheap. So it's something that's good to use. So yeah, two things of Miracle Whip. Once again, the one in the refrigerator ran out and I didn't realize the one in the cabinet was gone. So I needed to replace both and man, those are expensive. A thing of avocado oil, it was on sale, and this is a really nice, clean oil that I use. I try to avoid the highly processed oils, so um, that's a good one. They did not have our normal stir-fry sauce flavors. I love the Bang Bang, and the kids love the sweet and sour, so I thought the orange might work. It was on my menu to do something Asian this two weeks, so I had to have something, so we did that instead. This just sounded good and it wasn't too bad of a price. Um, we're going into burger season, so I thought, oh, that sounds yummy. Uh, raisins are always a snacky item for my kids. Up here, we have some miscellaneous seasoning. This has been kind of my go-to seasoning here lately that's been tasting good, and I've been putting it on chicken and vegetables both. So I went ahead and picked up a couple of those, a garlic powder because I was out, and then this is somewhat similar, um, but this one is one that they only bring out during the summer, so I went ahead and picked it up. Two things of Alfredo sauce, one for the cabinet and one for Binyu this week or this two weeks. There's decaf coffee, which is what I drink. And then two things of French fried onions. We don't use these on green bean casserole. We use them in salad as in place of like croutons. Um, and I have been craving salad here lately, so I was gonna eat some plan on eating some salads for lunch the next couple of weeks. There are two of the 20 count small tortillas that we use for taco nights. And then we have a baby shower um, the end of this week that we are going to. So I picked up a pack of diapers for that. I love all these diapers. I have used them for, I think, all of my babies. Um, I have used all of the sizes. The only ones that were meh were the newborn size, um, but all the other sizes I loved. And we even used the pull ups. So um, I highly recommend them. And then the last thing is a um, 18 count toilet paper. So in total, I spent four thirty or four ninety three ninety one. Um, oh, there is also a rug in there, a, a kitchen mat, like one of the squishy ones, because I need a new one for in front of my kitchen sink. The one that I have is dying um, very quickly. So. Um, yeah, that's everything. This is two weeks worth. I did meal plan um, for the next couple of weeks, um, and I didn't think to show you that, but you'll see it in the what we eat for dinner in a week videos. Um, and this was kind of a big one because we hadn't been to the grocery store in three weeks. I'm seriously thinking we're going to have to cut back to going once every two weeks or so because of the shortages of things and going into a store and planning on buying XYZ and them not having it. Um, and then the expensive things, I mean, $500, we usually budget about 600 for groceries for a month. And that was two weeks worth of groceries. So yeah, I don't know. Um, like I said, 600 is what we were spending eight months ago before we went to started going to the food bank and we had backed down and were able to spend about 350 and now we're back up into the seven six hundred dollar range for groceries which given for seven people that's not bad um but yeah we're figuring it out so thank you so much for watching um I will try to do grocery hauls more often because I get it. It's it's nice to see what we're buying in between besides just what we get from the food bank. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye and God bless.